that. Get that up and running. Never did try the, uh, what is it, the Shockwave Tower? How much damage does it do? 25? It's close range, kind of like um, flamethrowers are. Do that for now. Do I have another mini miner? No, I don't. If I did, I would go slap it down on something ironium related. Mmm, 50 seconds. Gosh, we have so many areas that have, like, hardly any defense in front of it. I could try to make, like, some, some like, stalling walls. A new technology Just, like, has been developed. I don't know, partition off the base or something. Oh wow, this has all been hit too, I didn't even realize. Oh wow, I didn't like rebuild anything down here. Build more storage facilities. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research complete. Let's see. I can sense the ground I'm out of cobalt. I can't make more rail guns. Fudge. Running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. Dude, I can hardly make any. Oh, I'm out of AI cores, also. All right, southeast. Trying to go out and meet them and deal with as much as I can before it hits the walls. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. All right, I see skulls to the northwest and southwest. Snail's got to go. Snail has got to go. Base is under attack. You're sitting like a scumpy. The technology queue is empty. Uh, shoot. I don't really have a way to go out there and help without endangering myself. Four years without missing a single day. Oh my god. I don't take a weekend. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Four years in a row. My God. Has been destroyed. All right, that one's fine. This one is not fine. It's just because of the big rocky guys. Tower destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. All right, that's fine now. This is very much not fine. Base is under attack. One of our buildings is being destroyed. An 
energy connector has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Oh no, I'm in acid. Crap. I, I couldn't see it because there was so much going on. I stepped into acid and not only did it hurt, but it slowed me and then I got killed by the uh, melee stuff. Our towers are out of ammo. Build more storage facilities. The technology queue is empty. A building has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. There is a breach in Where am I walls. needed most? Space is under attack. Let's try these. Plasma towers, chat. They run on energy, not ammunition. How would you know? I'm a potato. Where was I? I'm angry now. Booty! Mm. I'm a potato. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Oh shit, my hotkeys are almost up again! Base is under attack. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. A tower has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. An energy oh my god, they're this close to my headquarters. I did not realize! Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. There is a breach in our walls. Not enough palladium. What is the bu there's two skulls to the left of me. I can't tell what they are though. Not enough ammunition to operate defensive towers. Tower I think I just lost. Energy connectors has been destroyed. GG. Oh man. GG. So, to recap that, I think what hurt me the most, well, it was kind of a twofold thing. The, the last couple of attacks, every time, I did, a, I took a lot of damage, and also my Ironium income was gone. I, like, by just sheer happenstance, every time I got hit the last three attacks, all the Ironium mines got destroyed. And also, one time you guys stole a bunch of Ironium from me, which didn't help. Um, and so I, that really, really, really slowed down me trying to get back on my feet after each of those hits. Uh, the snails are just god-awful. I don't know what the counter is to them. Like, artillery can hit them, but artillery doesn't want to hit them unless the other stuff's dead, because it's in front of it. So the artillery is in range of them, but it's not enough. Uh, near the end, we ran out of ammo. Um, and I started slapping down plasma towers. It would have been nice if I already had the plasma towers down. I don't know if I could have afforded putting them down earlier. But it would have been good to have them down earlier on. Yeah, snails MVP. Dude, there was some attacks where the snails killed me like five or six times. And I, I'm, I'm used to playing rounds of this where I'd lose, I die like two or three times in the entire match. Not like in one battle. It looks like Snail does massive damage on touchdown, then it shatters and splash damages again. Yeah, it, they were they were absolutely brutal. And they're not fragile either. The other little artillery dudes that are a little shorter range than the Snails, um, they're fragile at least. So the artillery, if it does happen to splash them, they die right away. Um, also, I was completely out of grenades at the end. I, if I had leveled the armories up more, might have been able to do more with that. Uh, the higher level the armories are, the faster your ammunition stuff on your own do uh, respawns. Um, 
think that's about it. I had more areas to defend than ever before, but we had we got really, really, really high early game income. So that was huge. Let's look at the, st the stats. Player deaths, 12. I think that's a new, I don't think it's ever been that bad. Five acid damage, four area damage, one energy. Uh, resources picked up. Uh, consumable use, yeah, 131 grenades. Damage taken by type was mostly acid. It's the acid planes, whatever. Damage inflicted by type. Damage inflicted by weapons. Uh, 507, 528k from the laser swords, not surprising. Um, once again, I'm surprised how little it is with grenade. <laughs> Five damage with spear. Yeah, we put that spear away pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Building damage taken. Damage inflicted by buildings. Level 1 artillery towers, 256k. Level 2 artillery towers, 85k. The rail guns, 120. Uh, railgun level 2. Oh, I didn't even know I made a railgun level 2. Plasma towers. Plasma towers weren't even down that long. As it was just the very end, and they did 27k. So that's a pleasant surprise. Maybe I should invest more into those next time. Uh, plasma and sentinel towers both just do inner, the damage with um, your power, not with ammunition. So they're not subject to that. Uh, enemies killed. 14.8 thousand. 14.8 thousand enemies killed. That's how many uh, I, I, I killed that many before I broke. <sighs> All right, let's see the glorious snail damage. Uh, building damage taken from enemies. Let me see. So little the tiny little Zergy boys, 210,000. Uh, the, like, roach-looking guys, 155k. The big rock guys that were few and far between, but they were just super durable, 135k. Um, Bomagon is the little artillery dudes, that's 82. Nurglax, I guess that's the snail. Nurglax, 54k. Nurglax Alpha, 49k. Nurglax Ultra, 17k. So we got three flavors of snail. Arachnoid boss. Damage taken from enemies. Where's the Nurgleax? It's gotta be in here. Yeah, right there. 100k from those two. Alright, GG. We, uh, we got, uh, again, got to, just like last week, got to the finale. I would say my, my early game this time was stronger than any of my early games of like the last three or four Mondays we've done this. But the that final wave, uh, it is, you know, it was like the last three waves I kept breaking so much and I couldn't get back on my feet again. I was just constantly on the back foot and then I just broke. Uh, we had no stronger attack options. There was a few times, I mean, you guys hit me with bosses like three or four times in there. I remember multiple times Leroy came in with a swarm of bosses with his name. One time I said, did y'all vote a boss? And y'all said no and I got there and I was like, bull crap, yes you did. Uh, and I forget whose name it was, but there was someone else that had a big boss. It wasn't a snail, but it was some other big range thing. Yeah. G-G. All right, well, until next time.